In this video, you will learn whether you should go for dry or infrared sauna, and it will depend on your priorities. What you want to know is that dry saunas heat the air around you, whereas infrared saunas heat your body directly. And it turns out that when the air around you is hot as well as your body, that puts more stress on your body. Therefore, your body needs to work harder to preserve itself. So when you use a dry sauna and the air around you is hot as well, that will cause a bigger response by your cardiovascular system. So dry saunas tend to be better for your cardiovascular health and preventing things like stroke and heart attack. That however doesn't necessarily mean that dry saunas are better for you, because infrared saunas seem to activate your heat shock proteins better. And this also is very important for your cardiovascular health as well as your brain health. But it is also very important to say that dry saunas are much more studied than infrared saunas. Therefore, their effects are more reliable. What I don't like about infrared saunas is that they produce a big amount of EMF. EMF is a type of radiation that I talked about in many other videos of mine and it most likely is harmful. The data on EMF is limited, but when you study exactly what it does to your system, you will find out that it is not very good. EMF really damages your cells, it causes a lot of inflammation, it actually is carcinogenic. But the health effects of EMF are not nearly as important as health effects of sauna. So when you use an infrared sauna, I believe that you will greatly enhance your health. But if you use a dry sauna instead, I can almost guarantee you that that is going to be even better for your system. What you want to know is that an infrared sauna will cost you more money when you buy it than dry sauna. However, over time, it will be way cheaper for you to go for an infrared one because it takes up way less energy, approximately four times less energy. And that difference is significant. Because if you do have a sauna in your house already, then you know how much it takes, how much energy it needs to run. And therefore, infrared sauna is also better for the environment. I have read that an infrared sauna is more comfortable than dry sauna. But I have no clue if that is the case or not because I have only been to a dry sauna and I genuinely love spending time in dry sauna. So if an infrared sauna is even more comfortable, then that's amazing. Some people don't like taking saunas, but if you are one of them, chances are you are just taking the wrong type of sauna. Because some people will like it more when the heat is all around them, whereas some people will like the heat internally. So before you decide which sauna to buy, I encourage you to try out both of the options so that it doesn't happen that you buy a dry sauna and find out that you dislike it and you would need a infrared sauna in order to use it. So I personally am going to buy an infrared sauna in the future. At least that is if I can stay in it. And yes, it might be less beneficial for your health, but if you get in there more often, or you are there for longer, then you will get the same benefits. And I love you so much, subscribe.